So we've got we've got ewes and lambs in here. Um, I mean, it, it depends on what you're comfortable with. You, you can do the lambs and the ewes together, or you know, you can shed them out. It, it's up to you how you how you do that. But really, um, for the sake of um, at good application, obviously weighing the heaviest lambs in here and, and dosing to that weight would make sense. Um, and for the sake of uh, argument, we'll, we'll set the gun at 25 mils. Um, and um, sort of basically, what what would be um, good practice is to actually make sure that the gun is actually delivering that. Now, you know, the um, different products will have different thicknesses. So, you know, if you thought that Click was doing delivering seven and a half, it doesn't necessarily mean that Clixin or whatever is delivering the same sort of amount. So, you know, having one of these, I can give you what each one of these tonight. It's probably the most valuable tool on the sheep farm because you can you know make sure that you're delivering your wormer properly as well because mm -hmm. yeah. you know if you're under dosing you're you're heading in the direction of resistance that, that way as it were you know so, so just making sure that 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 um that uh, uh, seven and a half which is this, and um that gun is fully fully um sort of full um some guns work in different ways we have had some guns that backfill so what you had to do in that situation, this one doesn't, so you're all right. But some guns you have to actually fill the whole chamber before you start, and it takes it from the back of the chamber. And if you didn't fill it from the full chamber, you're not delivering the, the proper dose, as they say in football. So, um, sort of basically, you know, make sure that you know your gun. Also, I would also add to this obviously, read the label and, 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 and put the correct dose on the gun. Um, Assuming we've done all that, um, obviously, uh, in in using live product, I would actually I would I would use sort of these um, these cover all these um, leggings. I'd also use um, gloves. I'm, I'm not tonight, um, but because it's it's died. Um, but that you know, using the right safety equipment is is recommended on you know on the bottle. So where we've got some lambs in here, um, sort of. When you're putting the product on, you'll see that the gun is delivering a, 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 a um, width. So what you're trying to achieve, if you imagine that's the backbone of the lamb, you're trying to deliver about four inches of um, product, or two inches of product on the side of that backbone, or four inches of bread. So if you achieve that, you actually then get 50% going that side of the bag and 50% going that side of the bag. What, what you should always remember with something like click, clicks in or vaccine, it will never go uphill. So once it goes, trickles down that way, it's not going to go up over the bag. Um, and it won't go uphill that way either, or, or on the pad. So getting the land to stand... Oh, well, yeah, yeah, okay. Well, let's get that. So, down. Up, up. Now, sort of, you see I've given them a, foot, a very wide spread, and I've met here. If you don't meet here, you actually, the product's going to run that way and that way, but it won't run down that way. So, meeting, meeting your sort of, um, sort of doses is, is very important. So what you, have you got steep there? <laughs> um, you, you stand on one leg. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> um, it's like golf, isn't it? <laughs> um, so, um, sort of coming up over there, this lamb's rubbing up against each other. So that's not a problem because they're actually um, sort of you, you, they're rubbing the product up against each other. So, I mean. <laughs> Ideally, I would put all lambs together because you get all lambs in there and in the way. I mean, in practice, sometimes that can't happen. You know, I mean, realistically, whatever works really practically, I would say. So that's the lambs um, down the back, so, and then around the tail. Doing it in a race. Doing it in a race, 
like that. So you notice I use that cord of dough. I wasn't happy with that dough, or it's not product, but I wasn't happy with that dough. And doing it properly is key to this. And, um, you know, once you get the swing of it, um, about 100, <laughs> you know, you really can crack on. Now, I would say cracking on is great, but remember, you know, each dose of this or each lamb is costing you so much to do it. Um, slowly and properly is better than quick and not doing it at all is right. So, you know, you, long term you won't get the result. Uh, does anyone want to have a go at this? Yeah. yeah. I'm glad you're having a go. So. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. And the sheep. Oh, it's quite tough, isn't it? Yeah. You really got to squeeze it, though. You know, squeeze for, for England. Yeah. Really. So, to have another go, you're going to get wet. Yeah, you got you got more wet there. Do you see? Yeah. 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 So what you're trying, you, 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 if anything, you could get a little bit more wet. But I mean, you know, that, that after a while, you get you get used to that. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. And with the product, to be fair to it, it actually is easier to put through because it's sort of like emulsion. It sort of will go through easier. Water is actually a little bit more difficult. Mm. 